I'm coming to you from Down Under in Australia uh, and today I'm talking to you about risk intelligence, how artificial intelligence can be used in risk management, use in risk management for the Department of Defence in Australia. Uh, but the book covers a whole range of uh, risk areas which I refer to as risk domains from financial through to compliance risks. And that's obviously a political minefield. It can be broken up really into two sides of it, graphs. Now a knowledge graph is the output from a knowledge database. Now a knowledge database is a different way of looking at information to what you're traditionally used to in, in um, normal databases. Obviously with too little stress, people are underperforming. We then move into the quadrant of where people have enough stress that they perform well. They then move into the exhaustion mode where they've got a little too much, but they're still performing. And then that moves into the area of overload, anger, and breakdown. We can then measure the frequency of terms and sentiments, which is another area we can look at, which is sentiment analysis. Sentiment analysis looks at the content of a conversation and works out whether or not it's positive or negative or, and even what emotions are involved in that. What I have here is the Microsoft Text Analytics tool and the one I'm using today is this one which is the um, sentiment analysis from Yammer. So it will then make a call to the Azure um, AI service for sentiment analysis and it will return that and it gives them the opportunity in the third step to store that information. So I can create a log and a history of everything that's occurring. So I've created a list here in SharePoint um, under my site and as you can see up the top on this tab it's I've referred to it as sentiment analysis and when I click into that I've got a list here of all the different postings um, that are collected. Now this workflow that I'm setting up here is obviously just using Yammer but using any other connector into that workflow I could also get it collecting information from emails and from chats and from customer service logs um, a whole range of information. As you can see in doing this coming back to the actual workflow you can see here the message the first thing it's asking me for is what um, channel on the uh, do I want to use and it's a drop down list and I've selected CEO connection and this is here I'm saying it's a negative message has been posted and I'm going to include <coughs> the message in that. I can actually format that email as a template. So by clicking on that I can start it manually which I, I want to or I can start it automatically. So next let me have a look at um, what you need to do to be able to set this up. So there we go. First of all you'll need a Microsoft 365 subscription and in my case I used an E5 level license. That does require a Power, Power BI Pro license. So how you can embed a BI um, dashboard into SharePoint, how to create a dashboard and also there's also a link to um, another service that uh, Microsoft uh, provides which it calls its Workplace Analytics which again, using the same technology, is analysing communications to see um, where and how um, employees are working within the organisation. And finally, I'd like to hope that I've covered with you how you can actually implement artificial intelligence in risk management without any great expertise and without any technical background.